You're watching the second part of the filming section of the Witness Guide to Video Advocacy. It covers how to film a powerful interview, how to get the right footage to go with it, and how to protect the people you film. People tell stories. Let people speak. Eyewitness testimony can be the most powerful way to tell a story and can also provide useful context to your images. Protect the people you film. Ask permission, unless you are filming perpetrators, and ensure you have informed consent. Think about how to protect their identities. With interviewees, consider filming them against a backlight or asking them to shade their face with a cap to protect their identity. Or don't film their face. Just film them from behind, from a distance, or film their hands. Or if you can, use an editing program to obscure their faces as soon as possible. Always guard your raw footage carefully. Ask open questions. A good way to get the full story is to ask questions that begin with why or how or just tell me and can't just be answered yes or no and make sure you don't talk over your interviewee. Get explanations. If you're in a confusing situation or are missing a key piece of footage, turn to an onlooker and ask them to explain on camera what happened. The rule of thirds. When you film an interview, try to put the interviewee's eyes about two thirds of the way up the screen and two thirds of the way across and at the level of the camera. Background and close-ups. Take care with what is in the background when filming interviews. Then if you move in for a close-up shot, remember it's always better to cut off more of an interviewee's forehead than to cut off their chin. Shoot footage to explain your interviews. If an interviewee says something, think what pictures you can shoot to accompany or explain their words. But do one thing at a time. Don't try to get these shots while the interviewee is talking. If you are going to edit, get the images you'll need. Know your story. A shot list that you prepare in advance will help, so you know the pictures and people you need to tell your story. Make sure to shoot cutaways. These are shots of details, like an interviewee's hands or wide shot of a setting that you can use to disguise cuts in your edit.